Great news, friends. Millions of Americans can claim an $820 extra crisis relief assistance this month. Social Security beneficiaries will also be seeing a boost in their monthly benefit this month as benefits increase up to $4,194. Remember, friends, that I'm here every day to support everyone in this community as much as I can. And as your daily advocate, I want to help everyone stay up to date on all of the breaking news in Congress, especially during this crisis. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and also with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news. Stay tuned until the end of this video because I will be announcing the winners of this week's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. Season, I want to just put in a pitch uh, uh, this year uh, so that families uh, will make sure uh, that they are uh, 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 filing to get uh, the second half of the uh, uh, of the child tax credit payment, uh, get that in their income tax uh, returns. Um, and I might also add uh, for families who've had a newborn last year, first of all, congratulations. Uh, but th th for they are eligible uh, to take advantage of the child tax credit and the earned income tax credit um, uh, and to be able to get uh, the, the full amount for it. So I want to encourage people not to forget the second half of the child tax credit. Uh, what we're doing today is urging uh, our colleagues to pass an immediate extension of the child tax credit. Passed the House last November. Over the last several months, it's historic tax relief to families across this country. The stories we've heard from families all over, what they, what they have done. We can read stories all day on the floor of the House, on the floor of the Senate, we could go uh, uh, the, uh, more than the eight hours that the Speaker spoke when she did so many months ago on, on, on the stories of folks utilizing the, the child tax credit, food, child care, diapers, health care, clothing, um, uh, security, because these are families families who are middle class families, low income families. It's been a lifeline for them and they it's paycheck to paycheck. And maybe some folks here don't understand paycheck to paycheck. So here is some great news for workers in the United States without children. According to CNBC, they will get a boost tax this season. And that's thanks to the American Rescue Plan's expansion of the earned income tax credit. Previously, Americans aged 19 to 24 without dependent children were barred from claiming the credit. It was a benefit to low and middle income workers. But the Biden administration enhanced the credit for the 2021 tax year, which means more workers are now eligible to receive larger amounts through this benefit. For the 37% of workers aged 19 to 24 who are now eligible to receive the credit, the expansion will mean an average boost of $820. According to a study from the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy, if an individual has no other tax liability, that money will be sent to them in their refund for the year. For a lot of people in that age range, that can be a pretty meaningful amount of money for them to receive. The American Rescue Plan passed and expanded the existing earned income tax credit by boosting the full benefit to $1,502 from $538 and allowing workers aged 19 to 24 and 65 and older without any dependent children to claim this credit. Previously, only workers with children were able to claim the credit, which left many workers with the lowest incomes as well as non-custodial parents, which means those who do have children who do not live with them for most of the time. It also increased the income caps for claiming the full credit to $21,430, from $15,820 for single filers, and to $27,380, from what it was originally $21,710 for those married filing jointly. These great changes means that about 5 million young workers would regain access to the federal credit and receive an additional $4 billion in benefits this year. According to a new study, 
The change would help about 17 million Americans. Those with the lowest incomes would be most targeted. Which friends, that's wonderful news. But sadly, inflation is impacting millions of Americans. But this credit may be able to help struggling Americans pay some of their bills. So now here is some great news for Social Security recipients. The maximum Social Security benefit has officially increased to $4,194. Many boosted payments have been issued for this month's first batch of checks. Friends, it is important to remember that the new cost of living adjustment checks are sent out in three waves according to your birth date. The cost of living adjustment climbed to 5.9% beginning this year, which impacted 64 million claimants. Last month, an extra $200 payment was made available for SSI claimants that received at least $3,389 per month in 2021. The maximum benefit for someone who retired at age 70 last year was $3,895. But if you retired age 70 in 2022, your maximum benefit could be $4,194. Social Security benefits depend on the recipient's age of retirement. The Social Security benefit that you're entitled to during retirement will be based on your earnings during your 35 most profitable years on the job. This means you will likely have to put in 35 years in the workforce or more. Another thing that Americans have to do in order to receive this $4,200 monthly benefit check is earn a lot of money. So if you're eager to snag the maximum monthly benefit, you will need 35 years of earnings during which your wages will equal or exceed the wage gap. So if you want to snag the maximum social security benefit, you might also have to delay your filing age until age 70. Maybe that's not a problem if you plan to keep working until that point or have a lot of savings to tap. But I do know that option is not for everyone. Friends, that's the end of my daily stimulus update video for this evening. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. The three winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway are Gary Dye, Carmen Lamoth, and Anna Justice. Congratulations, my friends. Thank you so very much, everyone, for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you. And to say thank you, I'm giving away Walmart gift cards every Friday. Please also do me a huge favor and share this video with your friends and family. If they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much friends and have a wonderful and blessed Saturday.